Hi again, YouTubers. So this is a very, very, very highly requested video on how I have been getting my hair like this. Um, in the video, I talk about my hair color. I talk about the products I use. I talk about what I've been doing with it. Um, I did a review on this curling wand. Sorry, it's over here. Um, I got ready afterwards. Um, on this curling wand from Bellamy. I have a review on this. I will post that link below. Um, this is what I used, but um, when I did the review, I didn't really do a tutorial, so to speak. And people were like, I wanna see how you did it, not just what you used. So this is what I have been doing probably for every video you've seen since the new year, and if not before that, here or there. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, the things you need are, you need just a flat paddle brush, you need a couple, I use two little hair clips. Um, I use the Kenra Platinum Hot Spray 20. I do have, now I've discussed this before, I do have the Paul Mitchell Hot Off the Press. However, I prefer the Kenra one for lasting curls, so to speak. Um, this is the Bellamy 6-in-1 Curling Wand. Um, I hope the code is still good that they gave me. They gave me like $125 off one of these for you guys, and it is the best curling wand I have used of all the ones I have used. Um, and I've used Numi, I've used Lee Angelique, I've used, um, what's that other one? I forget. Um, some hairspray, this is just Sebastian Shaper Plus is what I'm using right now, but the hairspray, you can use any type. And Redken Wool Shake o 08 is what I use as well, which makes a big difference, kind of helps with that more texturized look, I feel like. I think that helps with that. Um, and this is what has been, I think, finishing the look off. So I hope you guys enjoy this and let's get started. So I start off, this is second day hair. I kind of just run a brush through it quickly. Um, I put my part right now pretty much in the middle. I don't do it exact. Um, I grab, whoops, two little hair clips. God knows who they're from. I take a section off and pull it up like just kind of a portion of it and I twist it up to get it out of my way and I put it in the clips. Make sure the hair is out of the way. So there we go. Same thing on this side. I do not go all the way up to the back. Like I don't pull up the back of my hair if that makes sense. Um, I just kind of do the sides. I don't know what works for me. Again, clip that in. So then I've got pretty much my hair split down the middle in the back as well, just feeling for it. And then what I kind of do is I just start with, I start on this side, small section, whatever feels comfortable. I use the Kenra Platinum Hot Spray Firm Hold Heat Protectant Spray 20. And I just do like two little sprays and I take the Bellamy 6-in-1 I love this wand. It is the easiest wand to use of all the ones I have. Don't know what the difference is. It's so easy. Well, I can tell you a few differences. I have a full review on this uh, wand, but people, I just hold it for a couple seconds and I do curl it away from my face. Um, and I will say this too, a strange little, I've seen people do it all different kinds of ways. I've seen people curl it up. I've seen people curl it down towards their face, one in, one out. Uh, one thing I will say, is if you notice, I keep the hair flat. I don't let the hair kind of like, <laughs> like that one, that uh, wire right in my face. I don't let the hair kind of bunch up. I try to keep it flat on the iron, which I think helps with the curls. And I just let them go like this. And you can see the difference in the length of my hair from these, just from doing this. Now it won't stay that way. Now I always, towards the front, take much smaller pieces than I do towards the back, you'll notice. Um, and I just do, like I said, a couple sprays and I kind of just go in and I try to, and as you notice how I move my hand, oops, see, this happens sometimes. This is how things go. Plus I'm trying to explain it while I'm doing it. I'm not just doing it. If you notice the hair is as flat as it can be. And then once I get it in, I'll show you again on the next one. I kind of put it, pull it a little bit tighter, not pull it tighter, move it tighter towards my face or my head. Um, and that always helps with that too. It kind of gets it a little bit tighter towards the base of my hair. So again, I'll show you with this one, how I do that. I kind of do a spray down at the bottom and a spray at the top. So I take the wand, I put it on there, and then I just kind of move the hair. And you see how I'm twisting my hand so that the hair stays flat? And then you see how it's further away from my head? I curl it in and I make sure I'm holding the edge here. Now all of these wands come with a um, like mitt 
in order to keep your hand from burning. I've burnt myself quite a few times on these, um, not this one in particular, but any of them. I had burnt my hand, my arm, I had marks, it's been crazy. But I still find it easier not to use the mitt thing. That's just my way, personally. Um, as I go through my hair, you can see the sections start getting a little bit bigger. Um, the reason I start with a little bit smaller, um, towards the beginning of my, I'm saying I'm a lot, towards the beginning of my face is because that's where I want the curl to be the most concentrated and to stay the most. Sorry, I have the sniffles. Um, so that is why I do smaller pieces there. They tend to, plus in the closest to your face, you tend to touch them more, move them more. And what happens with that, when you do that, is they fall faster. So that's why, sorry, so that's why. So this is pretty much what I'm doing. I'm gonna keep going around my head. Um, when I get to the middle of the back of my hair, I'll come back. Two things I wanna mention real quick is, First of all, when you get towards the back of your head, okay, and I'm grabbing, as I said, bigger pieces, you can tell the difference between this piece, between the, from that to the beginning piece, is I tend to do three sprays, okay, and then I also tend to hold it a little bit longer, which, if you think about it, makes sense because of the fact that when you have less hair on the wand, it doesn't need to stay there as long. When you have more hair on the wand, you want to make sure all of the hair gets heated all the way through. So I would say on the back here, I probably hold it for like 20, 25 seconds at the most um, on the back, whereas on the front, I probably hold it for like 10 or 15 seconds, and I think it makes all the difference. Um, and I just kind of, as you can see how I release that is what works best for me. Another thing I will say with that, I'm taking my watch off. I don't take my watch off a whole lot or my rings, but um, with this spray, it leaves a film. Like I have to turn my phone upside down and like if it's on my vanity, I turn my phone upside down and I take my watch off a lot of times and I forgot until there. Just because it is, it really is such a thermal protectant but hold spray. It has such a hold to it that it leaves that like hairspray type film and I don't want that on the face of my watch or on my phone or anything like that. So um, I just wanted to make sure I mentioned that part to you guys too because it's a strange little thing but um, is something I noticed with it too. So all right when I get to the back to the middle this part here is not curled all of this over here is curled. I try to keep this kind of on that side while I'm doing it. Then I push it to the back and I kind of switch to this side. I kind of switch my weight a little bit in my chair even. And then the first piece I grab, and as I said, these are still larger pieces in the back. I do the spray still and I take this and I'm now curling away on this side. I don't continue with the same direction. I actually curl, change this one on this half curling it what would be away from my face because I don't I personally don't like the look of one curled one way one curled another I don't what I have tried to do too is the putting the wand on and curling with the wand kind of facing upwards um, that caused a weird little kink in my hair it was kind of odd um, I'll explain that in just a second when I have this wand out oops I caught on my hair ah there we go. So what I've seen people do is actually start like this and then go like this. That did not work for me. That caused a weird little like kinky looking, like a weird like kink to my hair, like a line in my hair where I turned it. It just, it just didn't work at all. So this is just how I do it. Again, everyone's hair is different in how they're doing, oops, how they're doing it and how they like it. I just personally like to have them all kind of uniform and you see how I went from, I curled it this way and then I turned it this way because I want the hair in the direction that I want it to lay after it's done being curled. Um, and if you see me lean back, it's kind of because this gets tiring after a while. Um, I would say in total, doing all of my hair. And here's the thing guys, I have fine straight hair. This is my hair not straightened, nothing done to it. Second day hair, that's it. Um, this is what it looks like. But my hair itself is very fine, although I have a lot of hair. Um, so I lean back like this because it does take a while. I would say in total, starting from one end to the other, it probably takes me about 25 minutes to do all of this, I would say. And that is like a lot of time. But once I do it today, 
tomorrow or tonight or any other time in between, all I have to do if I'm going somewhere is kind of touch it up, which is really nice. Every once in a while I miss this piece. It's the same piece. I always miss it. I don't know why. Um, I'm sure we all have those pieces of hair that we just can't figure out that are in a weird spot. This is where my calic is. I have a calic in the back of my head. <laughs> so anyway, um, it takes me about that amount of time. But as I said, I just kind of, I watch a video, you know, a YouTube video or I'm doing other things. It's just whatever. I just kind of hang out. It's like my time, me time, you know. So this is how I keep going on this side until I get to the last one closest to my face. Um, which I will continue, as I said, curling it away from my face so the right side will actually match the left side even though um, they're both good. they just both kind of go away from my face is the easiest way to explain it. And then I will also show you how I do the top of my hair, which is pretty much the same thing just in obviously a smaller section. All right, as I'm getting closer to the front of my face, I'm back to taking smaller sections and using a little bit less spray because obviously there is less hair. Um, and they're smaller pieces so they take longer to hold. And again, I'm still just keeping this moving away from my face, but I want it to be in those smaller pieces so that the curl holds better here by my face, if that makes sense. So this is the last one, then I'll move on to the top. Here I am done curling all of these, and you can see the curls there. I go in with a little bit of hairspray. Right now I'm using Shaper Plus, and I just kind of give it a light spray all over. Ooh, my hairspray always gets me. Then I use a little bit of this Redken Wool Shake. I had trouble finding this. I found it at Ulta, but like, I couldn't find it. Oh, I have a sticker on my hand. I'm like, what is weird on my hand? This, I literally just do a couple little sprays and that's it and let it sit so then i go up to this side and i take this out take the clip out of it and i always start with this side because this side is pretty much already cooled down like these curls have been sitting for a while so i take this now it's easier to find the hair because these are straight and these are curly so i can set this down but I start with one piece and I start in the back on this. I have no idea why, it's just what works for me. Take the curling wand, I'm still curling away from my face. I always, always, always keep the hair going away from my face. Now you can see the difference between my hair, which is straight, you can see some of my highlights and stuff in it. Which by the way, people have been asking me recently about my hair color. Here's an interesting thing, kind of. I get my, while I'm doing this, I might as well talk to you. I get my hair color probably every six months, if that. It's kind of just whenever it starts bugging me. And it's more when the highlights start bugging me than anything. Um, and what I ask for when I go in is I ask for a medium warm brown with face framing highlights, okay? So what she does is she goes in with the color first and kind of colors my hair all over but she pulls out a few pieces and you can see some on the right on this side over here you can see that highlight in there and this is where it's starting to bug me a little bit it's not horrible but I'd say I can get I'm probably about four months and now I can get another two months before it really bothers me um, so what that does is then she washes it out and then she goes through with um, a toner and she tones the highlights so that they are not quite as noticeable in the hair, it's not as noticeable as this, okay? Then, through the months, and see, I can see one right here. You can see how long it's been since I had my highlights done. Um, and then I tend to just let it fade on its own because it is a warm brown color. The red tone or the warmer tone in it kind of fades quickly. Reds fade the fastest and they're the hardest to get rid of, um, it fades kind of quickly. And so then the highlights kind of start peeking through some more and the color becomes a little bit lighter. It is not as dark as when it started out because I go darker than my natural color. Um, my natural color is like a dirty, mousy, brownish blonde color. So I go darker than that because it's what I like, but it also fades down nicely for me and I don't see roots. Like, you can see them if you're really, really looking, but they're not drastically, drastically, drastically different. So you don't see anything immense except for the highlights, which nowadays, you know, that more grown out highlight look is fine, especially considering this, this is not a full head of highlights. It's just kind of a 
highlight poking through here or there, um, which makes it not quite as intrusive. So as I get up to the last one on this side, the one that's closest to the front of my face, okay, I kind of hold it up higher because it gives me just a little bit of volume at the top of my head. So normally I would go like this. This one I'm gonna keep like this. It gives me a little bit of volume at the front of my face, which I personally like. That is your own choice. If you'd rather have it down a little bit, then so be it. But if you can see, that one gives me just a little bit of volume there. I do the same thing with this. I just kind of spray it quickly just with the hairspray. I don't put the wool shake in it right now. Just the way I do it. Move on to the other side. Oh, it's caught on one. And it's pretty much the exact same thing on this side. It is all the curls in, everything sprayed. Um, I am done with everything. So I just kind of go through with that wool shake one more time over the top. I try to then let my hair sit for as long as I can. It really depends. Um, I let it sit for at least five minutes, if not longer. I've kind of let it sit in between. I stopped for a few minutes and let it sit for a few minutes. So um, you can see just where it's at and then I'll shake it out. All right, so at this point, I kind of just shake my hair out and all I do is just kind of run my hands through it Primarily, I'm concentrating at the roots of my hair. You can see the difference from one side to the other, okay? Oh, hair in my mouth, hair in my mouth. Um, I primarily am focusing up at the roots because I don't want you to see that line of kind of where I curled it. And then I just kind of fluff through the rest of it. This side always lays differently than that one. And that's what it looks like. This one, this piece, no matter what I do, always looks funny to me. I don't know. It's something about how it lays. It always has a funny curl. Sorry, I'm having a look around the camera. See how that one doesn't... I don't know. Whatever. This is what it looks like when I'm done. Everyone had asked for this video as opposed to just looking up an old video with a different wand. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is what I've been doing and thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.